Do you have print on demand products on tons of different sites, but you're not getting any sales? If this sounds like you, then stick around because hopefully this video is going to help you get some extra sales. And if you are getting sales, then still stick around because hopefully this video will help you get more print on demand sales. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use sites like Instagram and Facebook to promote your designs. And don't worry, I'm not talking about spending money on ads. If you want to speed up the process and pay for ads, then you can. But this video is not about ads. It's just about getting free traffic to your designs. So firstly, if you're excited about getting more sales for your print on demand designs, then smash that like button so that I know and let's just see if we can get to 421 likes in the first day. I like doing these little challenges. And without further ado, let's get started with the video. We're going to be talking about a method that I learn and use so often. And the reason I like it so much is because it makes your Facebook page or your Instagram page feel a lot more genuine, a lot more human, rather than just looking and sounding like a robotic page posting photo after photo after photo and people just not engaging with it because they see these photos and they're just like, no, right? I'd rather people engage and comment and like and get involved and share. And then every so often, maybe they'll buy or they'll go and check out your designs. That is the idea for this method. So many people fall into the trap of creating an Instagram page and immediately bombarding it with your t-shirt designs and with links going to your storefronts and links going to, you know, direct t-shirt pages to try and get sales or sticker pages, whatever it is. And effectively what you're doing is you are spamming your own page and you are killing it before it even has time to properly grow or properly, you know, become something big. That is no way to build a brand, just to immediately bombard it with spam and assume, you know, if I post enough, people are gonna see it and buy it. That's not how it's gonna work. So how should it be done? Well, I like this particular way, but let me just quickly stress, there are many ways to succeed in social media and getting sales through social media. Think of it like a mountain with a whole bunch of different paths all the way to the top of the mountain. There are lots of different paths, you know, they're all right, they're all going to get you to the top of the mountain. Some may take longer, some may be harder, but the point is they're all gonna get there. So this is just one particular path to, let's just say the top of the mountain, that I like, that I've used, and that I found to work really, really well. I have used this particular method to build many fan pages, especially on Facebook, to thousands and thousands and thousands of you know followers and as well as that getting four five six hundred shares on a post feels amazing when it hasn't cost me a penny it's called the three post method And you have three different types of posts. You have the money post, and this would be a post directly talking about your product, a picture of the t-shirt, a customer wearing it, usually with a link to the shirt. These posts, if abused, will kill your page. The next is the funny post. This is the most important post, and also the post that should be the most frequent. This can be a video, or a photo, or a meme. And you want it to be trendy, on topic with the current times. And you want to post these a lot. A lot, a lot. These are the posts that will grow your page. These are the posts that people will share, like, and comment on. And these are the posts that will make people realize you're not just a faceless shop flogging your latest merch at them. And the third and final post is the informative post. This post is very important too. This post is designed to make your audience see that you're actually quite smart and you have thought provoking things to share. You can get these posts from anywhere, a blog post, a podcast, a news post, something that is on topic with your niche and that will give your audience some new information they may not have previously known. So now that you know the three types of posts, 
when should you post them? How should you post them? How can you use them to create an effective marketing campaign? Well, let's start by making a little calendar of the week so you can clearly see how to use these three posts. For every money post I like, there has to be at least three to five funny posts and one to two informative posts. You may be thinking, well, that's not going to get me anywhere. I need money. Money posts is what will get me money. No, that is completely and utterly wrong. And like I said, by doing it that way, you are just going to end up spamming and eventually killing your page. Sometimes posting a funny picture, not only will it get tons more shares and tons more engagement, it could actually lead someone to going and checking out the rest of your page, eventually landing on your shop, and who knows, buying one of your designs. The soft sell is always a much better sell. Someone landing on your shop themselves are much more likely to buy than you shoving it down their throat with post after post after post. So now let's fill this calendar. Monday, we're going to post two funny posts and one informative post. Tuesday, we're going to post two funny posts and one money post. Wednesday, we're going to post three funny posts. Thursday, one informative, one funny, and one money. Friday, two funny and one informative. Saturday, three funny, and Sunday, two funny and one money. Do you see how the money posts are spread out? So in one week, there are only three money posts. I know that sounds mad, and it doesn't sound like you're going to make that much money doing it this way, but it's what people want to see. Funny posts brings people in, money posts sends people out. So if you spend most of the week bringing people in, then showing a money post, you're more likely to get sales rather than spend the whole week driving people away because that's not gonna get you any money. As I said earlier, this is just one pathway to the top of the mountain. There are many things you can do. There are many routes you can take. There are many methods to social media marketing that you could try. This is one way that I learn and that I've been implementing for years now and it's really, really worked. And I thought I would share it with you especially with your t-shirt designs. I've used this for not just t-shirt designs, but for many different businesses. Let me know down in the comments if you've taken a different approach and it's worked for you. I'm really interested to always be learning new things. So let me know in the comments down below. And again, if you like this approach, don't forget to smash that like button. And finally, I just wanna say a massive, massive thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and, and I hope you'll stick around for some more content just like this.